Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel once again. So today I got sent this Elego Saturn 3D printer. We're gonna go ahead and get this opened up, check it out, see what's inside, and see how this thing works. So stick around. All right, so here we have it out of the box. One thing I do really like is that they actually put my channel name on their printer, which is definitely a really cool touch that I like. So you got the, the toolkit that it comes with right here. It's got everything you're gonna need, power cord, spatula, tools, cutters, snippers, gloves, flash drive. So that's nice, comes in a nice little box along with the manual. So as you can see already, this comes with a much bigger build volume. And if you look at it, it's 7.55 inches by 4.72 by 7.87, which is much, much bigger than the previous ones I was using. If you look at, this is the Anycubic one. This is the Lego Saturn build volume. So you can tell right there, it's twice the size. That's awesome. So you have these two easy screws on the side to make it super easy to remove the build plate and as you can see it has holes so where it lines up which is definitely a nice touch so it's not like just kind of pushing it in and clamping it down on the bait on the base so I do like that a lot well let's get all of these little pieces peeled off let's get this plugged in set up turn it on let's do a print and let's see how this thing works So as you can see in the back, it has an easy place to plug the power cord into, on off switch, and if you want to connect it to the network, you can. You also have the USB drive right on the side of the machine, so easy to get to, very simple. So I'll go ahead and power this on. And as you can see, this boots up pretty quickly. I think that took about eight seconds. That was just fine. So you have tool, system, print. So let's just go into tool. We can manually move it. So let's go up 10. And I don't know if you can hear that, but that is very quiet while it's moving. You can barely hear it at all. I can hear the fan, but that's about it. So I'll attach the build plate, which you can see is this gigantic knob, which I really, really like. You have some knobs that are super small and tiny. This thing is a beast, very easy to tighten it. So in order to get this leveled property, I do have to remove the build plate and we'll place a piece of paper underneath and lower it down and get it all tightened up. That way it's will be leveled.
Okay, so we'll tighten these screws up. It says to hold down the build plate while you tighten it. So that's what I'm going to do. So now that that's tight, we can move it up. Remove the paper. And then we can install the plate back in there once that gets raised. So before we go any further, I want to test the exposure, make sure that everything is working. So we'll just go to tool, exposure, next. And as you can see, looks like everything's working properly. So normally when I want to do a test print on one of these printers, I usually use the model that it comes with, but I'm not going to do that today because that just doesn't sound like as much fun. So I'm going to go online, find a model to print, and then we'll be right back once I find something cool that I think would be fun. All right, so I found a model to use. I'm going to be doing this Thanos bust that I found. I figured, why not? Let's try that. And the resin I'm going to use is going to be this water washable photopolymer resin, which is a skin color. And I set the bottom exposure to 60 and the normal exposure to eight seconds based on what this bottle says. So I'm just going to go with that and we're going to get this all set up, filled up, and let's start printing. Make sure you shake it really well. I already did a lot, so I'm not gonna keep shaking it. So I'll go ahead and put the cover back on this. We'll go to print and we'll get this started. So once it's loaded up, we'll just go ahead, hit go. And I think this said it was gonna take about a little over eight hours. So we'll let this run, we'll come back once this is finished. All right, so this piece has finished. And as you can see, this took nine hours and 24 minutes to complete. So I'll just go ahead and let this drip off for a few minutes and let all the resin get back into the vat. And then we'll get this taken off, cleaned up, and have a look at it. All right, so let's take a look. There you have it. I think that came out looking awesome. But I'm gonna go ahead and get this removed from the build plate. We're gonna get this resin dumped back into the bottle. And then we'll be ready for the next print. Okay, so I got the supports all removed. I am going to put this in a UV curing light just for a few minutes to make sure it's fully cured. So let's do that. This is the Solvo 3D resin curing machine that I've shown in a previous video, so that's what I'm gonna use. We'll turn it on. We'll just set it to four minutes since it's not a very large print. And we'll just hit go. And as you can see, this automatically rotates to make sure that everything gets cured fully. So we'll come back in just a minute, see how this turns out. So this has finished. 
We'll power this off and let's take a look at what we got. Wow, that looks awesome. So you can see where the supports were on some of this. It's pretty smooth, but you can still see them barely. The detail I think came out amazing. All the little details, you can see the scars on his face, the chin, the wrinkles. Everything to me came out perfect. So here you can see in better lighting all the fine detail that it picked up. So I got the vat all cleaned out. I did use a little bit of rubbing alcohol just to make sure I got it clean. Got the build plate all cleaned up. So we can just put it right back on and we are ready for the next print. So what do I think about this machine? This thing is awesome. I absolutely love this printer. The user interface is very easy to use. The touchscreen works perfectly. The buttons are big. They're very easily readable. I have no problem seeing this whatsoever. It's quick. It's easy to print. I didn't tweak the settings at all, and I just used their standard water washable resin. This is the skin color. I did use their settings that they recommended. And as you can see, I did not have an issue whatsoever printing this. I love that they added my channel name right here on the printer. So Ilegu, thank you so much for that. Awesome touch, very nice. I like that you can easily get to the screws by just lifting the cover off. There's not really anything in the way. So now you actually have space where the any cubic, I have to lift open the door and then you have the walls hitting the side. The knobs and screws are very durable. They're very thick, they're big. And as you can see, a nice big Allen wrench, which is very easy to use to turn, to loosen, tighten, that kind of thing. This machine is very quiet. While it was printing, I could barely hear it. I hear the fan going, but that's about it. So this doesn't really make noise at all. So if you want one that's Quiet, you can put it in the corner, let it do its thing, walk away for an hour, you can. I love that. The placement of the USB adapter is right on the side, so it's very easy to get to, easy access. The power cord's on the back, along with the networking drive and port. If you'd like to hook it up to the network, you can. I think the only thing I would change on this machine, if I had the option, would be to put the power button on the front or the side, which is easier to get to, so I don't have to reach all the way around to turn it on. So an on-off button somewhere down here, or even right off to the side would be more ideal, but again, that is not a deal breaker. It's not an issue really at all. So nothing really to worry about, and that would probably be the only thing I would change. I do like the nice big build area. Definitely a nice touch. Everything about this is very well made and thought out. It's, it's just a beast of a machine. I, I can't say that enough. It's, this is awesome. If you guys are looking to pick one up, I'll put a link down in the description of where you can get one of these. It works amazing. Well, that's all for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button down below and get notified of all the new videos that come out each week. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.